Welcome to tonight's edition of Night Owls Live. I'm your host, Gabe Castle. We've got a great show for you tonight. Disney has finally started filming the new Star Wars. Pretty exciting. I've always wanted to watch Star Wars the musical. What should we expect? Maybe the literal version of A Whole New World? Who knows? But first, the MTV Movie Awards happened this weekend with categories like Best Scared Ish Performance and Hashtag WTF Moment. We are in for one entertaining night. Our own Kyle Sugar has all the deets on that. Kyle? That's right, Gabe. The MTV Movie Awards were this weekend, and this year the always flashy night was hosted by Conan O'Brien. Now, many popcorn bucket statues were given out on the red carpet, but the bigger awards were presented on stage. Channing Tatum won the Trailblazer Award for his expansive career as a younger actor, and Mark Wahlberg was given the Generation Award to celebrate his lifetime of success. Though, with a starring role in Transformers this summer, it's safe to say he isn't going anywhere anytime soon. MTV award shows are known for their shocking moments, and one that really has people talking this week came from Seth Rogen. While presenting the award for Best Kiss, the funny man made out with his own mother on stage. Seems that is one comedic family. And it wouldn't be MTV without a little music. Performances were given by 21 Pilots and Eminem and Rihanna, but the standout musical act of the night was Zed's medley from the Divergent soundtrack, which featured Ellie Goulding, Matthew Coma, and Miriam Bryant. And that's your summary of the MTV Movie Awards. For more info and clips from the show, visit MTV.com. Back to you, Gabe. Seemed like a fun night, Kyle. Ever since Disney bought the beloved franchise, Star Wars, for roughly $4 billion, fans everywhere have been holding their breath, waiting for news on how Disney was going to revive this Space Odyssey classic. With J.J. Abrams in the director's chair, I don't think fans will be disappointed. The film is said to take place three decades after the 1983 Return of the Jedi, and Disney chairman Alan Horn released recently that filming has already begun. The cast is still a work in progress, but from what has been released so far, I think it's safe to exhale and let Disney do its work. Kyle Sugar has some information on that new cast. Kyle. Well, Gabe, that's the thing. It's still a lot of guessing at this point. Ever since Disney announced a seventh film in the franchise, they've been very secretive about it. As you said, we know that Episode 7 will take place 35 years after the original trilogy, pretty much keeping it in real time as a sequel. Fans were very pleased to hear that Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and Mark Hamill are at least expected to make cameos as their iconic characters. But supposedly, this film will focus on the main trio's children. So far, the only confirmed casting of the younger generation is that of girls Adam Driver as the villain character. A few other names, such as Michael B. Jordan and recent Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o, have been thrown around, but the studio says they're looking to cast relatively unknown actors, so who knows? The release date is coming in December of next year, though, and filming has already started in London, so hopefully we'll hear some more concrete details soon. Until then, the producers are telling fans, patience you must have. <laughs> Back to you, Gabe. Those are some interesting faces. I can't wait to see the rest of the cast. Speaking of interesting faces, Jess Bogey is on the scene today to ask people how they feel about the iconic Darth getting a Mickey Mouse reboot. Jess? Thanks, Gabe. I'm here on the Leah Course Walk, where instead of me doing the interviewing, we flew in a very special man to do the interviews with Temple students about how they feel on the Disney reboot of Star Wars. I'll give you a clue who he is. He's Lord of the Siths, he comes from the dark side, and he might just be your father. If you're still stumped, watch this. Hey guys, Darth Vader here. I'm here with my friend. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I caught your name. What's your name? Pat. Oh, hi Pat. I'm here with Pat, and he's talking to me about how Disney is trying to reboot my trilogy, Star Wars. And how do you feel about that, Pat? How do I you feel about the reboot? I don't think it should be done. <gasps> Why don't you think it should be done? Uh, the way that I've heard they're going to redo it is that they're making up a new storyline for after episode uh, six, which is wrong. It is supposed to be the Thrawn trilogy, which they are not doing. Luke is apparently going to be having a love interest in this new trilogy. And who do you think that love interest might be if he were to have one? I'm gonna have to say Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Now, why would you say Chewbacca? Well, he strikes me as the type that goes for big hairy daddies, if you will. Okay, okay. Now, I've had uh, thoughts of my own. I mean, I know my son and daughter are brother and sister. They're twins, and they found that out later, even though they already kissed in one of yeah, the previous they did. movies, which was kind of weird. And in the poster, she's like... Exactly, and she's just standing, like, dangerously close to him. Wait. I have this theory that Disney might, ex like accentuate more of that and try to Why? do a Luke Leia romance like the flowers in the attic, get your brother off your sister, it's just so weird. Hi, and what do you think? Do you think that could happen? Like a crossover between flowers in the attic and Disney? Exactly. So 
do you feel like you would see the movie in 2015 when it comes out? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna see it. Will I like it? Probably not. Would you be more likely to see it if I was in it just to see my beautiful black face? Yeah, might as well. Oh, you, oh stop, Pat. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're just too much. Try your best and try to succeed in life, but if at first you don't succeed, come over to the dark side because we have cake. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for talking to me. I love thank dark you. chocolate cake. Shake my nub. Shake my Oh, thank you. Have Goodbye. Good. Back to you. Have a good day. Oh, Darth, you're such a hoop. Well, that's the scoop from the dark man himself. On the Leah Course Walk, I'm Jess Bogey. Back to you, Gabe. Thanks, Jess. It's always fun to get the inside scoop from the dark side. Up next, HBO hit record-breaking viewings this past weekend. What was everyone watching? More after the break. Lose the fat without the surgery, needles, or downtime with Whole Sculpting at River Chase Dermatology. Welcome back to Night Owls Live. HBO Go crashed this weekend due to high activity. They'd been warned winter was coming and everyone wanted to watch it happen. Game of Thrones' fourth season premiered this Sunday in all its blood, gore, and nude glory. Season three had left viewers speechless and heartbroken. Videos spanned all of YouTube with people's reactions to the famous episode regarding the Red Wedding. Fans were shocked and unsure if they could ever learn to love again. But honestly, how could they stay away? George R. R. Martin's tantalizing storyline, equally corrupt and lovable characters, and of course, HBO's mature rating makes for one amazing show. The new season was slow to start and featured introductions to a new family out for the throne and picked up where we left off with our favorite characters. The season is sure to keep to our favorite elements of blood, war, and skin. Hopefully HBO will be more prepared for the masses next Sunday. Soon it will become a game of ratings when other channels try to compete with HBO's intense and ever-growing following. After Comcast's Watchathon, there will be more fans than ever now that everyone had a chance to catch up. Speaking of games, Jess Bogey had another edition of our favorite segment regarding the celebrities we love to hate. Here's Jess with this week's Name That Celebrity Meltdown. Hey Gabe, I'm out at Bury Beach where we're about to play my favorite game, Name That Celebrity Meltdown. Now here's how the game goes. I read the descriptions of the meltdown the celebrity had and the player has to guess which celebrity I'm talking about. If they answer four out of four questions correct, they win a prize. But the catch of the game is, for every question they answer wrong, I get to spray them in the face with this water bottle. All right, I'm here with Max. He's ready to play my game, Name That Celebrity Meltdown. Are you ready, Max? I guess. All right, first question. I used to be an adorable pop star and actress. Brittany. Wait till I finish. You oh, could get sorry. sprayed in the face. OK, OK, go on. All right, until I decided to cut my hair short, start doing drugs, and incorporate half-naked midgets into my concerts. Who am I? Brittany. Oh, Max, it's Miley Cyrus. Uh, oh, <laughs> God. This is horrible. I sent girls wild with my cute face, but the fame got to my head, and now I'm, I'm known as the singer who spits in people's faces, smokes weed, and drives over 100 miles an hour on back roads. Who am I? Uh... Ah, you're helping. You're getting another you're spray. <laughs> I don't know. Justin Bieber. He has my birthday. Wah, wah, wah. I went on an F-bomb filled rant for four and a half minutes on the set of Terminator Salvation because the director of photography distracted me while I was acting out a scene. Who am I? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh no, it's Christian Bale! Oh God, stop! I had a great time out on Bury Beach playing my favorite game, Name That Celebrity Meltdown. Back to you, Gabe. My goodness, celebrities can be all kinds of crazy, and with social media available everywhere, it seems we can't escape their faces. But they can't escape our criticism either. With great popularity comes great Instagram photos. Kyle Sugar has the best photos this week on Celebrity Instagrammer. All right, we all follow celebrities on Instagram, but can you filter through what they're saying? Between Coachella and the MTV Movie Awards, there was a lot to look at this week. Let's play Instagrammer. First up, we have Lindsay Lohan. Now, based on her caption, she thinks she's saying, please be safe at Coachella and smile. But what she's really saying is, do you have my sunscreen? Here's a photo from Justin Bieber, who thinks he's saying, Scooter, you're burnt. But what he's really saying is, why can't I grow facial hair? And lastly, we have Nicki Minaj. Her simple emoji, smile emoji reads, I love my co-star. But what it really says is, I have a butt and you have a bow. I'm Kyle Sugar. This has been Celebrity Instagrammer. Tune in next week. I'm sure we'll have plenty more to filter through. Back to you, Gabe. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on Night Owls Live. Enjoy your Game of Thrones and your Instagram hashing. We'll see you next week. I'm Gabe Castro. Toodle hoot.